welcome to Votre Voyage Tarot. Thank you so much for being here with me today, Cancer. As always, it is my pleasure to spend this time with you. We're doing your What Are They Thinking reading for the month of April. This is for your love interest. Anyone that you find yourself connected to, involved with, thinking about here this month of April, this is their energy, their spread, Cancer. So let's see. What is this person doing here this month as it pertains to you? Cancer, let's see. We're doing a Celtic cross, so we're getting a pretty big picture here on what this person is doing up to here in regards to you this month. Cancer, sun, moon, and rising. This is for your love interest, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, sun, moon, and rising. Let's see. We're doing a Celtic cross, so we're getting a pretty big picture here on what this person is doing. Let's see, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I would like to thank everyone that has already subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you very much. This is the Pope here. Wanted to come out and say hi. Taurus energy here. Also commitment uh, relationships here. Wanted to come out. Some of you here are dealing with uh, someone that you are in a relationship with or someone that you want a commitment uh, with. <clears throat> uh, commitment material here. Ooh. We have the, this is the magician. This is uh, Virgo Gemini energy here. Pushing something forward here for some of you trying to manifest here a relationship with someone. This is their spread. So uh, this could be this person here wanting to or in the being in the beginning stages here of uh, thinking about uh, moving forward here in a commitment. We'll see. Cancer, Cancer, like I was saying, uh, I would like to uh, thank everyone that has already subscribed to my channel. Thank you, uh, Cancer. A special thanks to all of you that have left me your feedback in the comments as it relates back to the readings. I uh, really love uh, reading what you have to say and uh, it helps me uh, put the pieces here together uh, and see how these readings are uh, connecting here with, uh, with what uh, is happening with you, Cancer. So thank you so much uh, to those of you that uh, have done that and that continue to do that. All right, let's see here. Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see. What is this person up to here this month? As it uh, pertains to you, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of April 2018. What are they thinking, Cancer, about you? Let's find out. Uh, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to shuffle a few more times and we're going to get started. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone, but it will connect with many of you. If you want a more personalized reading, please do visit my website at uh, votrevoyagetarot.com and check out my private reading options. I do phone readings, uh, live uh, Skype uh, video readings, as well as um, pre-recorded YouTube videos like these for those of you that are interested Cancer. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's get started here one more time. I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday, Cancer. It's uh, a gloomy day here in Texas. Looks like it's going to rain. All right, this is their position here of significance in the month of April, uh, Cancer. Let's see. They have the Four of Swords. So uh, this is um, feeling a bit down here, this person, feeling like uh, they don't have a whole lot of energy here, mentally exhausted, uh, taking a break here, a breather, perhaps spending a lot of time alone here, uh, being in their head, thinking about uh, the future here, uh, examining their present situation and not liking it and knowing that uh, there needs to be a change of plans here 
uh, in order to uh, make uh, to have the future here look bright and they know that there is uh, a lot of uh, reorganizing here replanning that has to be done so let's see how that ties in here what is aiding or crossing this four of swords let's see this is also waiting here we have uh, the seven seven of cups so the seven of cups is an energy of uh, feeling a little lost again you know uh, not really knowing where you find yourself everything is uh, unclear so i feel like this person is confused here and for that reason they are could be here perhaps a little distant from from you cancer for those of you that are uh, with this person perhaps separated I feel like this person uh, doesn't really know what to do right now they uh, want to move forward here and make uh, take a path right but uh, I feel like they don't know what a way to go or you know what to do here because uh, there could be many options here that uh, seem very appealing and uh, they uh, don't really want to risk anything here so they're taking their time taking a look here the pros the cons having to the seven of cups uh, whoever is experiencing this energy here um, in this reading it's this person that you are involved with but here in general it's uh, an energy where uh, you have to remove yourself emotionally and look at the options in front of you look at what's before you here uh, in a logical way to be able to choose uh, the best direction here to move forward in what is uh, crowning them air energy what is this person thinking here? We'll see. Cancer. They have the five. Five of wands. So this is conflict here. I feel that uh, this is in their crowning space. So this person here could have very uh, conflicting thoughts here going back and forth again uh, feeling confused here not knowing uh, what's going on here right now and uh, what uh, what's happening right I feel like this person here is having uh, a lot of uh, conflicting emotions here contradicting emotions we'll be clarifying these cards for you here in a minute uh, cancer and as the reading continues to unfold we'll we'll get a better picture here of uh, what is going on so what's in the past? What is in the past here that's in that's influencing their current position here with this Four of Swords? <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Also, uh, this is uh, about uh, feeling secure and stable here. This is the King of Pentacles. So I feel that uh, this person here, uh, either uh, they could be an earth sign for those of you that are involved here with an earth sign, or uh, this person here is uh, very much concerned here about uh, their security here, staying grounded. Uh, perhaps they don't like feeling like, uh, you know, their life here is out of whack. They like having everything in order here. And uh, when things uh, begin to change a little bit, they, they could panic here with this, uh, you know four of swords and this uh five of swords here in their thoughts so i don't i feel like this person doesn't like their present circumstances here because uh they're uh they make them feel uneasy we'll see what is uh beneath them why is this happening what is grounding them why is this happening we have the two of pentacles <coughs> So like I was just saying, you know, the two of uh, pentacles talks about changes. It talks about integrating the old with the new and having so much going on and having to prioritize here your time and, uh, you know, balance everything out here despite feeling overwhelmed. 
It also speaks about uh, a decision having to be made. The type of decision that goes with the two of uh, pentacles is uh, basically um, <clears throat> letting go of the old and uh, integrating the new. And of course, there's a, a period here in the middle of transition, right, where you are able to juggle both things, but eventually you're going to have to let one of them go in order to uh, retain your sanity here. So I feel like this person is having trouble letting something go here and moving forward here into something else, something new. <clears throat> Let's see, what is in the future? What can you expect this person to be doing, thinking, feeling here in the near future? Let's see, Cancer. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy again. This is the Knight of Pentacles. So moving slowly. This is the slowest moving night here. Making slow progress here. I feel that in the past they found themselves very safe. And uh, here in the near future, they're struggling here right now, right? Uh, trying to uh, regain their balance here. And uh, here in the near future, I feel that, that uh, they're going to accomplish that, but uh, they're going to uh, be a knight here. So they're going to be moving very slow here, not wanting to take too many risks. Let's see, how do they see themselves? How do they see themselves here, Cancer? We have the two of wands, so they see themselves here as choosing a path. They see themselves here as having the desire, the will here, thinking about planning right here with this four of swords in their present position and this two of wands here and how they see themselves. So they see themselves as taking action here, right? Choosing a path, but first they have to, uh, you know, marinate here in uh, whatever it is that they want to do. Think about it. Because they have this, you know, they're, they're embodying here the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, which is a very secure, stable, methodical energy here. Very safe. They don't like change and they move very slowly. What is in the environment? Let's see, what is in their environment? This puts you there, Cancer, also other people that are around them. This is what is external to them. Let's see. We have the sun. This is Leo energy here. So um, there is uh, changes here in their environment. Also, uh, a lot of good things happening here. Uh, feeling excited here about uh, the things that are happening, but still, you know, uh, having a little trouble here with the transition. But it looks like uh, there's good things happening here with this sun card. The sun card also speaks about illumination here. So uh, seeing your present circumstances, your environment here in a different light. What do they want? What do they desire? Let's see. We have these stars. So they want uh, hope. They want healing. They want better days here with the star card. This is also Aquarius energy here. Before we get to the outcome, let's clarify this five of wands here in their thoughts. They're fighting themselves here in their head, going back and forth here. We have uh, the lovers, Gemini energy here. So this is in regards here to a relationship. And it's uh, the lovers, it's a very difficult decision here to do. So being torn here. Let's clarify this. Uh, let's clarify this two of pentacles here in their foundation. What is this Two of Pentacles doing here? We have the Justice card, Libra Energy. So uh, taking action here in a decision that they feel uh, should be done. 
because it's going to bring balance here especially so because they have this two of pentacles here in their foundation so i feel like they're um <clears throat> There's a lot going on here and they're having to, you know, uh, fix that. Here with this Justice card, it's saying that this person needs to regain control, balance here of their life. So I'm feeling like this person here, uh, their love life here, it's uh, spilling over into other areas of their life and uh, it's uh, creating a, a, a lot of chaos here, imbalance, uh, emotional, uh, you know, uh, issues here going on that are, you know, making things hard for them. Let's clarify this uh, Knight of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands, which talks about commitment. It talks about the home. So again, you know, uh, there's issues here going on with uh, this person's uh, relationships here, perhaps with you, Cancer. And in turn, it's spilling over into, well, all areas of your life. Because when, you know, one... Uh, area of your life is not balanced here it kind of just uh you know creates chaos here all over but uh, there's going to be progress here that is going to be made with this person they're going to be investing here their time and effort into a relationship here whatever that means to you cancer whether it is uh, moving forward here with you taking that extra step putting the time and effort here to make things better uh, reconcile for those of you that are separated whatever the case they see themselves here as putting uh, the time the effort here into uh, a relationship a commitment here with this four of wands and here with this justice card i feel like that is something that uh, they are going to do as well as something that they feel is right let's clarify this uh, sun card here in the environment sun card here in the environment we have uh, the nine of cups so again here the environment looks really good this could be your energy here cancer uh, feeling very happy and uh, receiving here a wish something that you very much desired which could be this person here putting the time and the effort where before they could have been uh, very uh, closed off here with this four of swords perhaps you felt like uh, they weren't giving you the attention that you wanted or you were wondering like why is this person staying away from me what is going on here uh, and that is because you know they have their embodying here this four of swords which uh, can be someone here the way that would manifest is someone you know staying away here from you but not because they don't want to be around you but because they have a lot going on here and uh, mentally they're very exhausted and uh, they uh, can't really deal with everything that's going on so they need peace and quiet here to uh, examine right their life and what's going on and really just to uh, rest meditate here Let's see, what is the outcome? What is the outcome? We have uh, the page of coins, a lot of pentacle energy. We have the page of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, and the king of pentacles here. So uh, in the outcome, we have the page of pentacles. Pages are all ruled by air. So this is communication here about uh, moving something forward here. Again, if you are involved with this person right now, um, you're going to find them here communicating with you that uh, they're uh, or finding here, right, that they're doing, taking the steps here uh, and uh, working here with you, pushing uh, things forward here in this relationship for those of you that are Separated, receiving here communication from this person and seeing a change in them here seeing them put uh, more effort more time here into you giving you more attention taking things more seriously 
what do they hope for and desire they have the star card so they desire here uh healing whether it is you know healing themselves healing a relationship here let's clarify this star card that is aquarius energy we have uh leo energy again here <clears throat> This is uh, having the inner strength here. Sticking it through here. Let's clarify this page of pentacles. Page of pentacles here in the outcome, Cancer. Let's see. We have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. King of Swords. Uh, this is, uh, again, honest communication here with this uh, page of pentacles here. Perhaps uh, being very honest here about their needs, what it is uh, that they uh, want, what needs to be done, uh, what uh, they think is fair, especially so here with this justice. Communicating back and forth here about uh, your needs and figuring, coming here to an agreement, to, in, to a conclusion here that um, is going to uh, benefit here a uh, relationship or you know whatever it is that you guys have going on here I how it fits your situation so that is what i have for you here cancer for the month of april for your what are they thinking reading if you like and resonate with this reading please do like and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next time cancer bye